How would your life change if you knew how to make $500 a day? Like every single day, you knew how to make a minimum of $500 a day. Now that's not even including if you work weekends because I'm just saying Monday through Friday. If you knew how to make $500 a day, how would that change your life? Can you imagine how, how much of a change your scenery you know, would have? So anyway, the reason why I'm asking is because I used, you know, I'm, I'm trying to take a trip down memory lane, right? So that I can be empathetic and, and share some of the experience and some of the lessons, the trials and tribulations that I had as a, as a younger sales professional. And I've been in sales for quite some time now. And I, I remember when, you know, I'm thinking back and I remember exactly how it felt before I was making a minimum of $500 per day. And if you do the math, you know, that's about $2,500 per week, which equates out to about on average of $10,000 per month. And that used to be this kind of like that unicorn for me. It used to be this, 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 you know what I mean? Like that level that I believed at the time that once I reached it, my, it was, it'd be a game changer. Now, while it was a game changer, that for sure, I mean, my scenery changed, my lifestyle changed, my attitude changed, my, my circle of friends changed. Um, you know, the, the experience of life really did change and and I'm so fortunate I'm so blessed I'm so grateful that I figured out how to hack that code that I've been excited to teach those around me and I have a passion of sharing information like I was one of those kids that you know like if I knew a shortcut or if I knew uh, like a cheat code in a video game I was eager to tell all my friends I was eager to tell everybody I was oh man check this out like almost like TMZ but of of, of different type of hacks though instead of like paparazzi I was more kind of fascinated with the hacks of success and winning and creating you know streams of income and money and um, you know even as a kid I used to like collect uh, comic cards like you know X-Men and and uh, um, different type of comic books and and my whole idea was man these things can grow equity can grow value there was these comic books that worth like ten thousand dollars and I had this idea like man if I can if I can get one of these comic books that gain equity when I'm older you know it'll be worth so much money and then I could sell it and I used to have dreams of what I could do with that money and uh, and so anyway I used to be fascinated with money even from a younger child because I saw um, what it did for individuals lives, you know, from my family's lives, from people that I, that I watched as I was growing up, how they lived versus people who didn't have money and how they lived. And so anyway, the re the, the reason why I'm going down this path is because I want to ask you, how would your life change if you knew exactly how to make $500 per day, a minimum, and that's only Monday through Friday, boo boo. So if you work Saturday and Sunday, more power to you. But what I'm saying is if you knew how to how to fast track your way to a minimum of $120,000 per year, that's $10,000 per month, that's a five figure month, a six figure income, and you knew exactly how to get it, what would that do to your life and those who are in your life? Well, you're gonna find out how to do that in this video. I'm gonna share with you three secrets on how to get to that six figure income. Let me show you everything I know. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Sales Remastered. My name is Daniel, and I'm your host. On this episode, I'm going to share with you three secrets to getting yourself to that elusive six-figure income. That's right. That's $10,000 minimum per month. That's $120,000 minimum per year, and that's at least $500 per day, assuming you work Monday through Friday every week, right? And so... These secrets that I'm going to share with you are things that, that I realized played an important role with, with how I created the success that I have today. And for those of you who are new to the channel, you know, I've, I've been in sales for two decades now. It's 20 years. And I, uh, I don't have a college degree. It's nothing special about me. You know, I grew up probably with the same limitations that you have. We probably grew up with the same type of background. All I'm doing, the only difference with me is I, is I keep it real. I'm not one of these, you know, influencers with, with $1.3 million followers wearing a suit and tie and talking all, all cheery. I'm going to tell you exactly. I'm going to get directly to the point. And, you know, you know, if you decide to use and implement these, uh, these hacks and these techniques that I've modernized to today, 
right? Today is September 1st, 2018. This is all modern information. I speak from experience because I'm currently selling. I, I sell with my team. I don't just lead my team, right? There's a lot of sales managers. Your manager probably is the same with all they do is just bark orders. Well, what I do is I, I, I hustle alongside with my team. So that's a little bit of a different approach from most of these influencers or sales trainers because they simply don't do it anymore. Or they probably never did do it. Or, you know, if you were so great, why, are, why aren't you doing it, <laughs> right? Because sales, uh, anyway, so the income that I'm going to share with you in making um, you know, uh, six figures plus per, per year um, is, is something that's very special because it could really change your life. And I hope that it changes your life for the good. I hope that it brings your family the peace and the security and the experience that you deserve for taking the time to try and perfect your craft and trying to learn your craft. You know, um, if you are new to the channel though and you find value in this video, please consider liking, subscribing, hitting that subscribe button and, uh, and also that bell because you know, you're gonna get notified of any topics that I leave. And I don't just leave sales content, I leave motivational content to help you develop the right mindset and the right skills to understand how to maintain and sustain that type of income and that type of lifestyle. And so my goal in this video, because I, I am personally a salesman, I'm a mortgage banker, I have been, and been in real estate for almost all the 20 years that I've been in sales, and I'm, I'm going to share with you uh, three different secrets on how to reach that six-figure income. So let's go. Number one, secret number one, and you're going to want to watch all three of these. You know, if anything, if you are in a position to write this down or if you are in a position to, um, you know, make some notes, definitely do that. If anything, just keep a mental, mental note to revisit this video because there are three important hacks and for those of you who, who, uh, who've who been following me since day one or who have support for this channel or have impacted you in some way positively and I've helped you increase your sales and increase your income, timestamp <clears throat> you know, the, the most valuable pieces of this video or maybe timestamp each of the three lessons so that you could revisit it later and just hit that timestamp. Timestamp is basically, you know, in the comment section, you just, you just type out the time of the video. Uh, that you appreciate most or that you believe is is really solid content and so you're gonna want to pay attention to all three okay so um, secret number one <laughs> in regards to making that elusive six-figure income you have to understand something is that you know any any great salesman that I've ever ever met and ultimately become right I became or have I have become a great salesman because I understand this one fact and it is this it is that all solid salesmen have a go-to script like a sales script and some of you who've been watching the channel you be like oh here we go we're gonna give it he's gonna promote his sales script come on d <laughs> of course i am boo boo but why, the reason why i'm getting at and you can get the sales script you can check out the sales script that i'm talking about it's at salesyourmaster.com at the bottom of the page but that's not what i want to do here is i don't want to promote the sales script if you want something that, that that's going to help you ease up your sales or, or take away the grind you know where to find it it's the link in these notes but where I'm getting at is the reason why solid closers have a go-to sales script is because there is a meaning of the sales script. There's an intent. There's a there's a use of the sales script. It's just like a, a hammer, right? Like there's a reason why you, you reach for the hammer. Not too many things you can do with a hammer, but one thing. And that one thing of the sales script is that you 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 know you're not necessarily using it to know what to say next. You're using it and referring to it so that you can achieve your goal and sometimes we may forget in sales that our primary goal is to open up our prospect is to make them feel comfortable enough to tell us the very things that they don't want to tell us and the reason why consumers don't want to tell us certain things like how much their spending limit is or or how much they need help right there's certain things that they don't want to expose to you and a sales script is is supposed to be crafted in a way where it teaches you what to say like what words to say when to say it and how to say it so for example like I could say I could say the same exact message in two different ways but because of the placement of the words and the way I say it the message will be perceived much differently so for example for mortgage bankers on here and you're gonna relate to this when you're pitching your deal you might very well sound like this I have option number one 5.25 no cost 
and I can bring your payment down to $1,800 and save you $100 per month, right? So that's somewhat kind of just the normal pitch sequence, same exact words, right? Whereas I can take the same message, recraft it, and say it in this way. So what I, I have an idea. Considering that you're looking to create some savings so you could pay down your credit card debt or whatever their goal is, right? Pay down credit card debt or, it, or increase your contribution to your retirement funds or replenish your savings account because of the expenses you've had or create a lower payment so you could pay down your principal much faster, right? So whatever their goal is, because I'm gonna implement that. I'm not gonna say option number one. I'm going to announce what their primary goal was and then kind of conform my message to just that. And so uh, same exact message, right? Like, hey, considering that your main goal was to create some savings so you could pay off your credit card debt or replenish your monthly savings, I have an idea that could bring your total payment down to $1,800. Now, since you're going to defer a mortgage payment and also get an escrow refund, you're gonna get a surge of cash flow. It's gonna be about five to $6,000. You could pay off the credit cards and increase your monthly savings by $500 because you mentioned that you're, you're paying $500 per month towards those accounts. Now, besides that, what I could do is also cut, waive all lend, all waive all the all the fees, the lender fee, the title escrow fee, and the uh, the note. Uh, I'm sorry, the the, the title escrow fee and the lender fee, and ultimately bring your total payment from thirty three hundred dollars down to eighteen hundred dollars. What's your thought on that, right? And so it's the same exact message, just crafted in a way that's more applicable to them. And the reason why that's more effective is because number one, I never said option number one. And then I never said the interest rate, right? Because what happens is when you open up your delivery that way, they hear they hear only the very first couple words and then they choose to mute out the rest if they don't agree with the first couple words. So if they don't agree with uh, with with your option number one, they're just they're they're not even listening to the rest. And so if you say option number one, five and a half percent right they don't like the five and a half then they're gonna mute out everything else in, in, instead of listening to you what they're what they're hearing in their head is whoa five and a half oh my gosh I just saw an advertisement for three and a half but you know the, the consumers thinking about some advertisement they saw like two years ago when they're in the gym watching the news right but that's just the way consumers think they don't they don't understand the market like you and I they some people don't even understand that the market moves right so we have to remember that and be considerate but that's what the purpose of a go-to script is is it teaches you what to say how to say it and 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 what words to say and so that's why my sales script is so effective is because it literally tells you what to say when to say and how to say it and it and, and it, it teaches you how to how to how to craft your 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 message or your verbiage in a way that it that helps you open up your prospect and lets them give you full control of the conversation the only way you're gonna make a sale is if you control the conversation does that make sense the only way you're gonna make a sale is if you initiate the sales conversation properly if you don't initiate the sales pro conversation properly you're just simply not gonna make a sale. you're not even gonna make it to the pitch table so it's important that you have a go-to script so that's secret number one um, you know, and, and you might have like this script that was probably outdated or prov or provided to you by your sales manager or provided to you by your your sales trainer or maybe you know you have a you have a corporate sales script that that was found in the intranet. The problem with those sales scripts though are they're typically designed by people who are not in sales, boo boo. So get something that that is crafted from a, a fellow hustler who's just like you in the trenches and understands what we really go through. Now, secret number two. Secret number two is just as important. You know, you have you it is, it, and this is definitely not being taught because it's always being missed. It's not being taught by your sales trainer. It's not being taught by your sales manager. And this is something that we can easily use to help overcome the one of the main ob objections that we get, which is the cost, right? It's the it's the total closing cost because our consumers are wired to believe that you know everything in, in life that's great is free because they hear advertisements of no closing costs and so they're just looking for free service. Is that ever happen to you? You get connected to a lead and be like, hey look, I just want the lowest rate and no cost. 
Like, bro, you got the audacity to think that companies and, and corporations operate with no cost? The hell's wrong with you, man? This is what we're thinking, right? And this is sometimes why our emotions can get the best of us and really kill sales. But I want to I share with you a different way how to handle that. So know that you'll have an answer. So when you hear that up front, you're not intimidated. Because if you're intimidated and you're you're having this anxiety of like of thinking in your head like, oh man, this person said no cost. I have cost. I'm just going to waste my time in, in helping this person out, taking 45 minutes of my day. I got 900 calls to get back to. The last thing I want to do is waste my time with you if you already told me no cost. And so what the salesman does when they hear that is they try to shortcut and go straight into the sale. All right? Like, okay, well, what's your rate? Oh, I got a three and a half. Ah, oh, it doesn't look like you're good right now. But if you would have taken the time and you wouldn't have been intimidated, you would have found out that that person's three and a half was actually an FHA rate. You would have found out that they financed over 95% on that FHA, so they got a permanent mortgage insurance, meaning they got a 0.85, you know, uh, MI. And that's if they finance their FHA within a, within a specific period of time. If they did it before that, it was 1.35, right? Like there was a time where FHA mortgage insurance was 1.35%. So technically, their three and a half would have been 4.85%, but they're paying 1.35 in mortgage insurance. Now, I know it sounds like hibberish, gibberish to some people who are not in the mortgage industry, but for those mortgage bankers, you're going to understand exactly what that means. But getting back to the point, the, the reason why this is not used is because, and why it's overlooked, oftentimes it, it, it baffles me. But if you understand how to use this, you can actually create savings. So whenever you got that sales pitch that you can only save them like $30 per month, do this. Like count up like how much they have in the escrow balance. Like maybe have them grab their mortgage statement, right? Like and say, hey, can you tell me what that escrow balance is? And then they're going to show you the escrow balance. And then you got to remember to add an escrow portion of the payment into that balance, especially if they're pulling up, let's say, a, a month old statement or two months old. You got to do the math real quick to figure out and give an estimate of how much their escrow balance will be uh, at the time that the loan funds or the loan closes, right? And so we explain to them what, what happens is you get a full refund of that money back. And sometimes, like right now, is September 1st, so they got a huge. Um, uh, uh, escrow balance for people in California, right? And people who have tax installments that are due in, no, in November. And so they might have like four grand, five grand inside that account. And when we explain that, yeah, you get that money back, they perceive, they see it in their hands. Like, ooh, I get that. And what happens with consumers, just like all humans, when we, when we, when we imagine us coming across additional money, unexpected money, we immediately delegate it. We, we, we have a purpose for it. And so if, if this person knew that they're getting five grand, they'd be like, oh my God, that would pay for the AC unit that I just fixed. Or, oh my God, that would be a perfect down payment for the car that I need, right? So they immediately start, start processing it. And when you get them to have an emotional tie to that result, then, then your conversation becomes more powerful. They like you, right? And just like consumers, they don't understand the market move. Sometimes consumers don't understand that every other one of your competitors can do the exact same thing because they simply aren't talking about it. And so when you explain to them that they can get a uh, uh, escrow refund right on top of that they get a payment deferral so that so one month there's no mortgage payment plus also whatever that whatever that uh, refund pays for so if they have a five thousand dollar credit card that you learn because you asked the right questions you knew that at closing you're going to use this as leverage but during the conversation you say hey how much do you owe in revolving debt oh I owe about seven thousand dollars in revolving debt very common right sometimes it's even more and you'd be like, okay, how much are you paying on that credit card debt? Oh, I'm paying about maybe $600. We try to pay it down. We're, tr we're paying above and beyond. So, oh, okay, so that's not the minimum payment, right? And sometimes, a lot of times, they're going to say that they're only paying the minimum. And so whatever it is, you want to jot that down. So that at time of close, you can add that savings to not only your payment deferral, but also your month to month payment savings. Because they're, again, their alternative is to say no to you. And if they didn't refinance, then they don't get that, that surge of cash flow. They don't get that, that solution to rid the credit card debt, right? And so if you gave them a solution to wipe out their credit card debt and improve their term, you become that much more valuable. Make sense? So pay attention to that because that payment deferral and that escrow refund makes a massive amount of difference. Now, finally, secret number three. If you follow this in any engagement period besides sales, you're going to do more than earn yourself a six-figure income. But you're going to understand that 
of just generally how to persuade. This is one of the most powerful persuasion um, uh, secrets that I could share with you. And I really hope that this, this really sinks in because this is going to help you understand how to sell anything, like literally anything. And it's this, it's that every engagement, every sale, every inquiry involves two things. It's pleasure and pain. The faster that the faster that you identify which of those two that your prospect is more in tune with, and more more uh, emotionally tied to, the faster that you can persuade that that prospect. The faster that you can control, um, influence, urgency. Um, uh, regardless of what the price is, regardless of what the rate is, regardless of what they have to do, they'll walk on fire for you if you understand which one they're most attached to. Let me explain. So every prospect that, that inquires, they're either, they're either doing the action because of fear or because of pleasure. Um, typically it, it's because of fear and because of fear it's, it's because they, they fear that they can't make their payments anymore or they fear that their income is, uh, is, is going to change because they're, you know, they're going to be, uh, retiring soon or it's fear that they're paying more than they need to. There's some sort of fear attached to it. And our job as a salesman is to understand what that fear is because they're trying to get away from that fear. And, and when you identify what fear they're trying to get away from, you can then craft your message to explain how your service and your product is the vehicle that takes them away from that pain. And it brings them to a place that they want to be, which is where pleasure comes in. They just want the pleasure. The pleasure is to, um, to not be stressed, to have security, to have the, their to-do list done, to complete an objective, to um, replenish their savings account, to increase their 401k contribution, to improve their FICO score. Does that make sense? And so, and so when we identify exactly what they're most in, in tune with in the conversation, then we can craft our message in a way. Now on the flip side, some people aren't, aren't running away from things of fear. Instead, they want pleasure right away, right? And so, and so in that case, their pleasure is they want the new kitchen because maybe the wife's been saying, hey, I want a new kitchen, I want a new kitchen. Okay, well now's the time to get the new kitchen. Or, or the pleasure is, hey, I want to take my entire family out to the Philippines or, or on this trip or my, my, uh, my, my oldest daughter is getting married so I need to get this cash, right? And, 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 and that could be pleasure because it is the status that they're looking for. They want to be the provider and so that gives them pleasure. When you understand that they're more in tune with their status or what brings them pleasure and what they view as valuable towards, towards, towards giving them that sense of pleasure, the faster that you can convey and, and persuade and I don't, you know, I don't want to say manipulate because that's kind of, you know, it's kind of bad, right? You should never manipulate your prospects, but understand where they find pleasure. And then what you're going to find is that that pleasure is ultimately obviously what they want to what they want to reach but but they need a way to get there right and that's where your product and service comes in that's where your professionalism comes in that's where you come in is because you just happen to be the only person that knows how to get there does that make sense or at least you want to make that type of message be perceived and say oh yeah i got a, i got an idea a lot of my clients have the same exact goal i've been there before i know that i know the directions as a matter of fact i know the shortcut watch follow me i'll bring you there Right and now, you become the person, the tour guide that can take them to where they want to go. So understand that every single sale has has these two things: pain and pleasure. Now, if you want to learn the details, it, I have this course. It's called it's called the Secret Formula to Six Figures. It's the Banker's Formula to Six Figures. It's the Salesman's Formula to Six Figures. I uh, I have this website, of course. It's called SalesRemaster.com. And it's the second product that I have that's that's right on the on the uh, homepage. You're gonna go there anyway because at the bottom of that of that website, 
there's a place where you could request that sales script that I was telling you about at the beginning of this video. You gotta check out the sales script. Go check it out. And then while you're there, there you know, you can check out my products that I have available. I even give um, you know preview links of the content that's inside. But there's this uh, a, a formula to six figures that's going to elaborate far more into detail the, the secrets that I'm sharing with you. It's gonna give you more than that. It's gonna give you a bonus, even a bonus module that teaches you how to get to a, a, a sales manager manager fast like how to get promoted quick it gives you a cheat uh, sheet and a cheat video of how to respond to every single objection that may be stopping you right now that may be having you think like man am I in the right industry or that may be keeping you worried or overworked or required to sacrifice weekends is because that you're just you have to contact more people because these objections are just lowering your conversion rate well now I have a solution for you as a matter of fact I have a proven formula it's gonna help you it's gonna help you create the mindset create the process system create the marketing understand how to solicit understand how to um, you know sell close get referrals it's gonna teach you all of that man if that if again at the very beginning of this this video I asked you what would having you know uh, making five hundred dollars per day do to you how would that improve your life right and you got to ask yourself what what would you pay for like how how much value would it would it be if you could do that to your family what would it be worth to you would it be worth the cost of this course and I believe it would be because because in one sale more than likely in one sale you'll have enough to pay the entire course that's how crazy it is right now I'll let you, be, you know, make the choice, but at the, end of the, at the end of this video, if you come this far and at any point you're like, man, that's some solid information, then do me one solid. Leave a comment below, because I do got a question for you. You know, what is your takeaway? You know, timestamp, of course, your favorite part of this video, but more importantly, let me know, what would making six figures do? What would making five, knowing that how to make $500 minimum per day do for you right now? How would it affect you? What is one sale worth? Worth to you what's your rip on just one sale how much do you make right like one sale Daniel man I'm averaging like a thousand dollars well damn boo boo like if does that make sense oh fuck if I could teach you how to make a couple more of those would that not be worth investing your some some time and money and 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 uh, and looking at the formula to six figures because I'm gonna teach you how to fast track I'm gonna teach you how to increase those sales now the, now the choice is yours if you knew that the solution and the secrets are right there on how to do it and do it easier and do it and multiply the results now now the choice is yours you have the choice to go there and get into that into that course salesremaster.com go check it out and I'll see you there bye why am I naked fool? Fresh out of Iggy Gold.